Hey, I'm Alex Vayner with Mac Tuts Plus, and I'm here with a really quick tip on how to let your Mac print in black and white. So if you're like me, uh, when I switched from a PC to a Mac, one of the big things that I noticed was missing was there didn't seem to be any way to print in black and white on a color printer. So in Windows, it was really simple. You would just check a box and it would print on a color printer in black and white. Uh, the reason why you would want to do something like this is if you've got a document that's really heavy on color uh, with a lot of pictures or something that you're really not too concerned about getting uh, in color, printing in black and white is a lot more cost effective and can save you tons of money in the long run. Uh, and it's actually pretty easy to set up on the Mac, even though it's not just a simple checkbox. So the first thing that you're going to want to do in order to get this set up is go to some sort of text editor or some document where you can uh, print a file from. So here I have a text edit document. Uh, it's just something random, it doesn't really matter. But what's important is now I'm gonna go to the print dialog, so Command P. And then right here is where you're gonna see all of the options uh, for printing. Now you're gonna notice you probably don't have all of these. That's because I have this little box checked. This is probably what it looks like for you. But if you just press show details, that's going to basically give you all the advanced options for printing. And luckily, you only have to do this once because what we're going to do is we are going to create a new preset. Now, you can see in here that there's already one called Fast Draft Black and White. Uh, well, that's perfectly fine if all you really want is a Fast Draft. Uh, what I'm going to show you how to do is create a preset that is black and white, uh, but still a high quality black and white print. Uh, so fast draft setting is great if you really want something to print out quickly and actually makes an inkjet printer almost as fast as a laser printer. But in this situation, uh, if you just want a high quality print that also happens to be black and white, you're going to need to create a new preset. And that's what you can do by pressing the show details box. So then from there, we have this drop down menu. And this is where we c this is really like uh, the important stuff right here. We can change anything that we want here. But the funny thing is, to get to allowing you to change from color to black and white, it's actually under the paper type slash quality box, which is probably where most people would get tripped up here. The next thing we want to do is go down to color options, which is just like this little box hidden down there. So again, if you didn't know this, uh, it's not exactly something that's easy to find. And then finally, we're going to go down to color and then go to grayscale. And now our choices are between black print cartridge only or high quality. Now again, this is up to you. Uh, if you do the high quality grayscale, that's actually gonna use some of your color ink, uh, not as much obviously as a normal color print, uh, but it will use some of your color ink to produce mu uh, many more shades of gray. Whereas the black ink cartridge only is really just gonna be uh, a basic quality uh, print and probably it's gonna look closer to the fast draft black and white setting that we looked at earlier. Uh, so for this purpose, I think I'm gonna choose a grayscale high quality. Uh, once we've done that, we've chosen our paper type and the quality, all that's good. We can actually set our quality to a uh, maximum DPI, best, normal, or fast draft. Uh, again, these are different settings that you might wanna play around with. It's just the difference between speed and quality. Uh, but here, we're just gonna change it to uh, high quality black and white. Next thing we want to do is go in here and then press save current settings as preset. So then this is going to take all the settings that we just entered in down there, uh, notably the grayscale high quality, and that's gonna save it as a preset. So we're gonna press save as preset, and then we're gonna call that black and white. Then uh, something that I would really recommend doing is if you're not playing around with too many settings specific to the model of printer that you have, so if you're really just doing something like just making it black or white, then that's a setting that would be applicable universally across printers. So for me, I'm gonna select all printers, but again, if you decide to play around a little bit more with the presets, you might have options that are available just for your type of printer. But again, if it's just black and white, you're probably better off with selecting all printers. So we're gonna press okay. And then we can just choose any printer that we want. So this printer is available on the network. And then our presets, we actually just have black and white right here. And again, we don't even have to be showing the details. This is just something that you can quick select and it's saved in, you, saved in there uh, for the rest of the time that you're using your computer. So then just press print. And then obviously what you can't see on the screencast is I just got a uh, high quality black and white document printed from my Mac. 
Now there is, and you can probably actually hear the printer in the background come to think of it. Uh, but the only other thing that there really is to mention in this tutorial, again, this is a pretty simple thing, uh, but this does not apply across user accounts. And to my knowledge, there is no way to do that yet. So if you set up a new account uh, for somebody else in your family or for somebody else using the computer, if they want to also have that black and white setting or any other printer presets, you're going to have to do it on a per account basis. Otherwise, this is a really quick and really easy tip that's going to save you a lot of time and potentially a lot of money in the long run if you're a heavy printer. So I'm Alex Rinna with Mac Tuts Plus, and that's been how to set your Mac to do black and white printing easily.